see today you have bought me an HP laptop mm, okay thank you very much let's see so you wanted me to give this for a clean okay well this is a rather nice laptop This is the model with 4 gigabytes of RAM and a 100 gigabyte hard drive. Mm, very minimalist as well at the front with the power and the hard drive LEDs and a nice pattern to the top with the HP logo as well. But I can see. So what I'm going to do is if you just leave it with me for five minutes, I'll be able to get this tidied up nice and ready for when you come back. So if you'd like to just go and sit in the lounge and have a cup of tea. So my young apprentice next to me here is going to just watch how I do things, if you don't mind. I'll see you later. Five minutes. Okay. All we're just going to do at the minute is just give the top a general white round of dust because you can see it is a little bit, a little bit dusty. So we're not going to be using anything too abrasive. Give it a swoop, you know, just get rid of all the surface dust. And as you can see, there's a little bit of a scratch at the top. I'm just going to get rid of that a little bit later. So, all that said, just brush the top layers of dirt off. There we go. I've not seen too many of these. See the screen is looking quite dirty as well. So, just give that a general wipe off, just to get rid of any dust or anything else. Any bits of debris. Being extra careful as you go around the screen, being careful not to dig into the screen so as you don't scratch it. And again I'm just getting rid of all the surface dust with a very, very light touch. And what I'm going to do now, we've got rid of all that dust, is I'm just going to go around the keyboard And I'm just going to give each button a light little polish. Okay, so I'll take my little cloth here and I'll just go around the keyboard like so. First, just to shift off any of the excess dust. I'm 
not sure if you know, but dust is one of the biggest killers of computer equipment. So it's one of the things that you have to try and keep to a minimum. As it doesn't take too much time just to have a quick clean of your computer. That is as well if you have a tower. Now if you have a tower then you can use the compressed air to blow between the cracks in the keyboard and in the tower itself. Get rid of all the dust of the components. So, I'll just continue here bit closer. Just give the bevel pedal a little wipe down. Let's get a little bit more cleaning solution. around the top and zigzags in the middle and this is sort of a treatment mask for the screen so in about 20 minutes I'll ask the customer to wipe it off and it'll be as good as new and I'm just going to take the top down as you can see here it's an Intel Celeron Bring that to the middle just in case you can't see. An Intel seller on Windows 7 machine. So I'll just bring the top down a little bit and just give the outer edges a little bit of polish. Making my way around the edges. And finally, zigzag the middle and you should be able to see the scratch is starting to disappear with the special solution that is applied to it. Wonderful. Okay, so just to finish off. Dirty number nine, number five, number. Okay, no, all the rest of the numbers are fine. The end key, and that's it. Perfect. Ah, you've come back. Yes, that was an easy enough job. What you'll need to do when you get this home is just wipe the screen off with a light um, non abrasive cloth such as toilet roll or something similar. Um, and if you experience any issues in the future, just let me know and bring it in and I'll look at it. What was that? Oh, I see. You're going to bring in of all the computer later. Okay, I'll be around for that. And I'm sure my young apprentices here would like to see me troubleshoot.